is 13 News at 10, your news leader. Co-workers and a family member speak out about the loss of three hospital heroes just a day after their deaths. Good evening and welcome to 13 News 10 at 10, first and fast. I'm Eric Wilson. Last night, in an attempt to help a patient's life, three brave hospital workers lost their own. A REACT helicopter went down just south of Rochelle, taking the pilot and two flight nurses with it. The chopper was en route to Mendota to pick up someone who needed help. 13 News reporter Kelsey Passelt is on this story we first brought you last night. Kelsey, we've learned a lot today about the crash and the crew. That's right, Eric, and it's about all we will know for a few months, but that might seem like a lifetime to family and friends of 65-year-old Andy Olison, 40-year-old Jim Dillo, and 48-year-old Karen Hollis. It is with tremendous sadness that we gather here this morning and pay tribute to three heroes who dedicated their careers to caring for patients. Andy Olison has had a long, successful career in the sky. Andy served as a military pilot for 23 years in the last two decades flying for area hospitals. He always wanted to be a pilot ever since he was a little kid because he had an uncle who was a pilot for TWA. That was his passion. He just, he just loved every everything about it. Flight nurses Jim Dillo and Karen Hollis also had long careers in the air. Both spent more than a decade in that position. Dillo was an experienced critical care and emergency room nurse at Rockford Memorial. Hollis also worked in critical care, plus was a clinical resource coordinator and trauma nurse coordinator. Unlike his two crew members, Olison planned to retire next week and move to Texas with his college sweetheart and wife of 42 years, Patricia Olison. He thought it's time to retire and enjoy life closer to our children and grandchildren. The crew's co-workers consider themselves as close as family. We definitely have a hole in our heart for uh, our family members uh, today that are missing. Our media partners at the Rockford Register Star say Hollis leaves behind a husband and two young children. Dillo is survived by a wife and four children. In the newsroom, Kelsey Passel, 13 News. Eric. Hey Kelsey, what about patients, people who use REACT services, anybody reaching out, telling their stories? We have had a couple hits on our Facebook page, but the interesting thing is one person emailed me, a man emailed me earlier tonight saying that well, he claimed that his life had been saved by Andy Olison. Andy was piloting the helicopter that saved this man's life two years ago. Hopefully we will bring you more on his story tomorrow. All right, Kelsey, thanks for that report. It could be spring before investigators get all the answers to why this crash happened. According to the National Transportation Safety Board, the hard ground is making it difficult to get debris cleared from the area. Some pieces were found three feet deep. One witness says, based on what he saw happen, he's not surprised no one survived. And when I looked out the window and I seen this thing come down, the lights on the helicopter, I thought, holy mackerel, that thing hit the ground. Debris is spread out over a quarter of a mile. The NTSB is also investigating a plane crash not far from the REACT scene in DeKalb. Sheriff's